Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I'm probably calling Lockdown Finale or something like that. Uh, this is actually just going to be a one day vlog, a Saturday vlog, Saturday, August, early, uh, Saturday the 8th. I know what day it is, it's the 8th, I remembered. And that's important because, yeah, lockdown, like, sort of over in it. I mean, we're still not really meant to go outside, sort of, but you can go to cinema and they're encouraging us to go out to restaurants and you can just go to like stores we have to wear a mask but that's fine um and it's you know relaxed you know coronavirus is weakening in the uk there's less deaths less less cases and all that sort of thing than there was at least why does it like these f head cars man like i've just watched a car come around the corner and there's like his side is completely or her, her could be a woman uh side is completely obstructed by cars and they've just come out anyway absolute just just the state of idiots on the road anyway guys um yeah it's you know you're allowed to do things now so claire and i we are going to go to the shops later uh we're going to go to bnm bargains i think claire oh god please tell me that's a postman i can't just tell if there's a postman i don't know if you, you've seen this around your area but some of the postmans now are in like white vans instead of like royal mail vans i think that's the postman i hope they've got a post for us i don't know they're parked quite far away so maybe not anyway uh don't get run away uh yeah uh, what was I saying? Uh, Claire is out looking at sunflowers or something today. I don't actually know what she's doing. Something to do with sunflowers. But we are going to go to B&M later. Um, right now, I'm going to edit some videos for, you know, YouTube channels. Um, and yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun vibes. So yeah, enjoy this Saturday vlog, which is the lockdown finale, where hopefully fun stuff will happen. So I haven't really filmed much today. I think, in fact, the last time I filmed, I was probably sitting here doing the same thing. So, uh, just doing a few more video things. I just edited a very long video, so it did take me some time. Um, but I'm just going to do a few thumbnails, and then I think I'm going to crack on with this pile of comics here. Um, I've mentioned, or that one there, maybe. Um, I've mentioned that I'm selling comics in order to buy comics. So there's some very rare comics that I need that are more expensive, so I'm selling comics to be able to afford that, basically. And also make more room. Because, yeah, well, look at them all, it's mad. So, um, yes, I'm going to do that in a minute, but like I said, I just need to finish off these few video bits. Okay, as threatened, I'm now sorting through comics, um, trying to find the rare ones. What we got? Oh, that is what we wanted to find. That's one of the ones we wanted to find. Well, it may not be particularly rare, but it's sought after. Let's have a look at the quality. Very nice corner. Oh, perfect corner. Oh, perfect corner. The bottom left is always tricky. Oh, that's not a bad one at all. Wow, that is really not a bad copy. Oh, Buttervision. Yeah, that is not a bad copy of Venom Carnage number one at all. Hmm, that's nice. Pop that on the Venom pile. So I'm doing like Venom. Um, miscellaneous Spider-Man, which I'll need to subdivide later because there's so many different ones in there. Uh, Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man, amazing. Uh, and then Peter Parker uh, Ultimate. Oh, and um, sort of Spider-Man events. Right, let's carry on. Just watching the Hodge Twins on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> very good, very good. Akado are the next ones trying to yank me off. Well, not I don't mean that, but uh, yeah. Free substitutions, okay. Hagen dazs cookie dough instead of cookies and cream. Annoying, because cookies and cream is my favorite. Um, pff, fine, not ideal, to be honest, but all right. Um, instead of their best, like really ridiculously highly rated Luchita Street large taco wraps, uh, mini taco wraps, soft taco wraps, no, won't be able to accept them. But the worst one, the most egregious substitution, by the way, this is arriving later, I've just had an email to say what is being substituted. The worst one, instead of uh, Waitrose garlic and, and coriander naan breads, which are absolutely delicious, like some skanky pre-packaged horrible one, and they're just, they are so different that they don't even compare. So yeah, disappointing. Uh, so I won't be accepting them because they are oh God, they're, they're horrible um, So yeah, but the rest is all fine. So at least we've got the rest Wow fucking huge. Oh my god Those are fucking massive Those are the biggest hailstones I've ever seen 
Jesus Christ. That is, wow. That's scary, holy shit. So I did say that this was gonna be a single day vlog update, but uh, nothing really that interesting happened on the day that I chose to do that update. And look at this, three hands. Um, anyway guys, so you saw yesterday. So anyway guys, uh, it's several days later, it's Thursday. Just finished work, so I'm gonna do a little bit of, um, a little bit of dusting in my room and film a few videos, um, for things. Um, and basically, yeah. You saw yesterday the absolutely insane storms. I mean, those are some of the, you know, the weather has just been absolutely insane. First of all, those are some of the biggest hailstones I've ever seen. Um, also yesterday, I don't remember being hotter in the UK. I went for a, uh, like a three mile walk, round, tr round trip it was, um, but regardless, three miles, and it was, insanely hot like it was absurd um and pretty much all day i was just sweating the entire day like my entire body was moist and i'm sorry horrible uh thoughts and things to say but my entire body was moist the whole day i've never experienced anything like it um the last couple of nights really struggled to sleep and actually last night had a thumping headache i had one of the worst headaches i've had in probably years um it was fine, it was fine. I took some paracetamol and after just some rest and drinking plenty of water, but after a couple of hours, it was it was, it was was entirely gone. And I started playing video games again. Um, and then read some comics as well. I finally finished and caught up with, oh, that's, that's not right. Um, I caught up with Oblivion Song, which I've been reading over the past couple of um, weeks, which is Robert Kirkman's comic one of his uh, newer comics it's not new anymore by any means um, but I wanted to do that because I have uh, finally finished a complete run of Invincible idiotically I'm now going after variant covers which is a really stupid decision because some of them are really rare and some of them are fucking expensive well in fact one of them is so rare that I will almost certainly never own it um, but yeah that is that is the update. So I'm going to do some dusting. Um, the room is looking quite the mess at the moment, hence why um, I'm, I've wanted to come up here and uh, basically I'm going to do the dusting on top of the um, wardrobe system that I've got here. Maybe have a look in some of these upper storage areas as well and um, put as much as possible on top because basically I've now got some comic boxes in here which were in the garage. I don't really want to put them back in the garage so I kind of want to have them in here. I mean certainly these invincible boxes I know I definitely don't want in the garage. I've got two. So one's my full run uh, which is in there and then one is spin-offs and um, variant covers. So yeah that is it guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film any more for this vlog. You'll find out almost immediately if I am. Oh, I will. I will. And then we'll wrap it up. And this has been the finale of lockdown. Wow. Um, and it well and truly is the finale because Claire and I are going to the restaurant tomorrow. Not the restaurant. We're going to a restaurant tomorrow. Prezzo. And we're going to the cinema as well. And we've booked our tickets for tenner. So you know lockdown is, lockdown is over right. So this is the lockdown finale. So guys, yeah, we are out at Prezzo for a meal. Uh, we're going to the cinema as well, so um, yeah, should be pretty cool. Uh, this is interesting, they've actually got a new way of ordering. So you scan the QR code and it takes you right to your table and restaurant. So we're at Hemel Hempstead, table 43, which is pretty mental. So we're ordering on the phone. Oh my God, pure butter vision. Garlic butter vision. Oh god, it's been so long since we had. Yeah, I can't remember the last one I had. Yeah, Prezzo, like, wow. Lovely. I'm really sorry about that. So I forgot to start filming before I started EM. So we've got the tray gusty with. I've actually got extra mozzarella and extra pepperoni. So, um. Yeah, I'd hate to see what not extra pepperoni looks like. Nah, kidding, kidding. Claire's got the, um. The oak smoked salmon penne, right? With a basil pesto sauce. Nice. Right, I hope I don't get tagged for the um, 
copyrighted music here from Greatest Showman, but here we go. Got birthday cake ice cream with uh, pistachio and almond underneath. We are masked up. Yep. <sighs> See how this goes, obviously, in the cinema. We're seeing an Am uh, no, it's actually called American Pickle. I thought it was called An American Pickle. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it just came up American Pickle, I took it, so I'm, I'm actually not sure now. But yeah, should be good. Should be good. Looking forward to it. Here we go. Let's see how we get on wearing a mask. It's called An American Pickle. Oh, it is called An. Yeah. All right. So guys, we just got out of An American Pickle. God, my forehead is greasy. Um, yeah, it was good. It was, it was really good, actually. I really enjoyed it. Claire, what did you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, very funny, wasn't it? Well, yeah. I thought it some quite big laughs. Yeah, it wasn't quite. I'd say it's, you know, considering it's essentially a streaming film, because I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, uh, in America it's on HBO Max, but HBO Max isn't out in the UK. Or like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's anywhere outside of America actually. <laughs> um, so on there it's basically just a streaming movie, but uh, we've got it at the cinemas over here. And um, I'd say it's above, certainly above average for a streaming show like movie. No, I'm, yeah, no, I'm not saying it's funny. I just thought, you know, it was good and there were some quite big laughs. Um, so yeah, I'm very satisfied. And obviously it's the first time we've seen a, a new film at the cinema in what, five months? Yes, it's March. <laughs> Ridiculous. We did see Empire Strikes Back like a month ago, but um, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't count. Old film, innit? But yeah, that is it, guys. Um, Prezzo, right there. Uh, Prezzo was, it was good. It was disappointing, I think. I mean, first of all, they brought Claire the wrong meal, which, you know, minor, like, doesn't really matter. Fine. I mean, they brought you out your correct dish instantly, so. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. So, fine. Um, but they've made a few changes to the, uh, to the pizza that I had. One of the, it might sound stupid, but one of the key components of the pizza that I had was the rosemary, and that wasn't on there anymore, so that's changed. And also, I ordered extra. Also, I ordered extra pepperoni. One pound fifty for extra pepperoni. No extra pepperoni. No extra pepperoni. So fuming. Um, but yeah, just it wasn't the best cooked prezzo ever. Um, yeah. <sighs> kind of expensive as well, I guess. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah, 40 quid. Oh yeah, that's another thing actually. The discount code that I had didn't work. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like it's uh, like some random code I found online. Through my work, I've got Perk Box, which I'm sure a lot of you have got. It's basically a reward scheme through your employment. Um, so I got a 25% off voucher through there. One of the perks of my job and that didn't work. So um, yeah, a few bad things. And like I said, I just wasn't the best cooked one ever. So it kind of put me off Prezzo for a little while. I'm sure I'll be back eventually, but um, yeah. Regardless though, we had a lovely time at uh, Jarman Square and they have got the rainbow, the rainbow lights there. If that'll focus. Oh, there we go. Very nice indeed. You know that I love a rainbow light. Also guys, the ice cream that I had, I think I showed the ice cream on the video. This is a huge and very important update really. I'm sorry about the lack of focus on me. It's sort of focused on Claire, maybe I'll just put it just on me. Um, the, uh, the ice cream that I had, the blue syrup that was there. So that claimed to be a whipped cream flavour syrup, but um, I couldn't really describe what it tasted like. The, the, the problem is I only saw it was described as that after I ate it, so I didn't have that in mind as I was eating it. But i tell you what did hit me as soon as I put it in my mouth. And it's a taste that I've not had in 25 years. It tasted like the ghost, the inside of the Ghostbusters chocolate bar, which is something I have said. Uh, you know, this, this Ghostbusters chocolate bar is something I have mentioned time and time again across like podcasts and videos in the past, um, you know, on Food Review. Um, I've never, never, I had never tasted anything that tasted like it until this evening. So that was... Um, uh, like, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I don't know if you um, know what I mean when I say this, but when you have a, a wave of nostalgia or something so emotionally impactful that your eyes sort of shake um, and it just sort of overcomes you, that's sort of what happened when I put it in. Oh, it sounds mental, it's going to make me sound like a sociopath. Um, or psychopath, don't really know the difference. Um, 
yeah, it was just, and I was like, fuck. Like, it was, maybe it wasn't, like, dead on, but it was close enough, and I was like, oh, my God. And, and it even had a, a, a strange, slightly gelatinous texture. It wasn't, like, a normal syrup texture. Um, kind of thick. Um, really, really nice. The ice cream in general was great as well. It had, like, strawberry crispy pieces. It tasted a little bit of strawberry milkshake, but mainly of cake, and it had bits of cake in, and then it had this whipped cream sauce, whipped cream syrup. Uh, really, really nice from Ben & Jerry's. Um, but yeah, I think a, a really good finale to lockdown. This was like the lockdown finale, Claire, I'm not sure. I already told you. <laughs> probably going back into lockdown. Well, yeah, that's it. Lock, lockdown 2, lockdown harder. Or would we call it lock, lockdown 3 would be lockdown with a vengeance. Mm. Um, uh, lockdown or live free or die hard. Lockdown or lock hard, I don't know. I'm making like die hard jokes. I don't know if you're even getting these. Cause not sure if you know the titles of the Die Hard films that well. Mm. No. I'm going to have a quick sip of drink. But we're going to wrap up there, guys. Thanks for watching this finale vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good uh, time, really. Have a good life. That's it. That's <laughs> it, guys. This finish. <laughs> goodbye. Still nothing from her. She doesn't want to. Yeah, goodbye. Fucking hell. No. Well. Sign, <laughs> Sign in it. <laughs>